Hi there, Adnan here from Polygon Flow. We've been hard at work on Dash 1.7, a major upgrade that brings you UE 5.4 support, new tools, world building improvements, and much more. Let's look at each feature step by step. First, we've got the Vines tool. You can create vines from scratch, or in this case, leverage the leaves from the Megascans library to automatically create vines out of them. As with all things Dash, the workflow couldn't be simpler, and you still have full control over every aspect of your vines and leaves. Next, we've revamped our asset tagging to leverage GPT-4.0. This gives you state-of-the-art accuracy, and your content is never used for training either. As we work towards Dash 2.0, Making content easier to find and place is a major goal for us. Another major feature in this release is property references. In this demo, I wanted to have one value control the width of the road, the grass scattered nearby, and everything else. Each referenced property has its own weight, giving you full control and unique offsets at the same time. This workflow is ideal for complex scenes because it keeps everything as simple as it can be. For those in ArcViz, we've also implemented an IES library straight inside the Dash content browser, and as you can see, the workflow is as easy as it gets. Another simple yet useful feature is the new image to grading. Drag and drop an image onto the Dash bar and we'll extract its color grading, then apply it to the Dash camera in your scene. Next. We've revamped our fog cards to make them look better, whether in static or in motion. As with everything in Dash, you can always just select and adjust every single parameter, from the density to the brightness to the speed and everything else. One feature I'm particularly excited about is the new blend material. By just drag and dropping three surfaces from the content browser onto a surface in your scene, it instantly creates a highly customizable material that blends each layer based on height map data, noise, and vertex color. We've given you granular control over every single aspect of each layer. Next, you've all been requesting the ability to mask your scattered object by the landscape layer, and we've given you just that in this update. Pass the name of a specific layer to the tool surface scatter, and that'll do it. Another feature that we've cleaned up in 1.7 is instance color variation. As the name says, it gives you the ability to randomize your scattered object's properties like the hue, saturation, and brightness, which is invaluable for highly detailed, yet unique word building. Volume Scatter is a small but incredibly useful tool that can be used to create flock of birds, asteroids around a planet, or really anything that you want to put inside some mesh. Back to tagging, you now have the ability to batch edit tags on multiple assets at once. I personally use this to mark assets when I'm about to use them in a project, and will further refine this workflow to make it more accessible. When scattering on large surfaces, you sometimes want to keep objects strictly inside a curve. Well, that's super easy with this update. Just pass the curve as an object mask, make sure you have the Keep Inside checkbox checked, and that's about it. Border masking is another scattering feature I'm really excited about. You can create custom geometry and ensure that your scattered object can be clipped off the borders effortlessly. Speaking of mesh borders, you also have the ability to extract curves from mesh borders. Tool presets are another major features in Dash 1.7. You could create a really cool scatter setup for example, and reuse it in as many other scatter tools or even scenes or project as you want. Back to the basics. We've made scene saving much simpler in this update. All your data now resides in a simple actor, and the data structure is a simple dictionary that's easy to read and modify. To close this video, this small but crucial feature allows you to select any asset in your UE content browser and export it with all its dependencies as a zip file. And that's about it. 
As you can see, Dash is becoming more and more what we always wanted it to be, an ecosystem of solutions for anyone creating worlds in Unreal Engine. Whether that translates to better scatter masking or the ability to blend materials or even just zip assets and share them with others, we're slowly adding every piece of the puzzle to make sure that you can create worlds that you feel proud of. I hope you've enjoyed this video and I can't wait to tell you more about what we've been working on on Dash 2.0. Until then, let's have fun with this update and I'll see you around.